two and one team set to square off, and we're underway here in NFL Week Four. And we will not get a run back here to start. Go, it's a touchback, it. and it will come out to the 25. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action. It's Ryan. Looking for Campbell downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Escaping the pressure right. And he slings one that's incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Play action, Ryan. Oh, he's got his tight end, Mo Alley Cox, complete. And he is gonna have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after the strong run we just saw. They're able to corral him quickly defensively. Throwing on second and three, Ryan. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Colts take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken.
first carry for James Conner. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and Calm relax down, a yeah, buddy. bit after they just gave up the score. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Bridgewater now. <sighs> I just beat somebody ass in your name. Got his man. That's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. And CD, defensively, you're going against a hot quarterback coming off a three touchdown. You playing Adam again? A week ago. What's the big key for them to try to slow him down? You ask all the tough questions, don't you, partner? Because with this guy, if you blitz him, he takes advantage of that man coverage and burns you. But if you bring on those extra DBs, he sits back there and does what he wants. To me, it's going to be those DBs. When they catch the ball, Big time tackles really put it on those receivers. You hear me now? On first down and a good one. Yes, he'll get about seven here. Oh, so you heard. A good That's run fine. got seven on first. Here's second and three. Uh, Throwing Bridgewater. I'll take that fuck you back. So. Finds his oh, yeah. run back, James Conner. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play. Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They're trying to make this fucking real while I'm playing the game. Shit is difficult. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A quick throw complete out to Isabella. Oh, he's got some breathing room. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. Well, Brandon, obviously no panic in them. They gave up the touchdown. You know, their defensive side did that. But he's already taken huh? back downfield. I love this field general that they've got. Uh, like he he's over here. Said, Don't worry about it. He's playing you. with. Got and this, and we're seeing I love the fate and the fate that he's in. He's in his superhero fate. So, you know, he's like all wrapped up in his video game. Not video game, it's great. Action figures, man. That's a huge point away from tying up this football game. Nope. <laughs> yeah, ain't gonna be like it. He's gonna get me. Yeah, I hope so. That's how I'm raising it. People be looking all. People think that, like. You know, when so kids get there, like, one of them to wear, like, superhero shit outside and stuff. Seven, seven. Like, and I be looking like, nah, nigga, he's a kid. Like, I'm not going to make him wear fucking Nike. You know what I mean? Like, he, he enjoys his Avenger shoes and his little Avenger toys and shit. Nah, nigga, we going to rock the best shit. Seven, seven <laughs> here is the kicks away. People don't, people don't like kids and kids, bro. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Adults. <laughs> they they want them to be like a status symbol, and it's just not necessary. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you oh, start thinking you? to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared yeah, something for happen or you just left it. because you know they'll make some adjustments. Here's second that shit and seven is lagged, from the 28. Dog. Running left, Taylor. Taylor's got the first down and more. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. That's why that shit is really stupid. Yards rushing for like, now just six yeah, carries yeah. to this point. Even That's if you can run, run one play all game long, so it's not fun. He just can't take it for granted. <laughs> a way to get those extra yards the that's the same way i feel about them niggas that play 2k and they run this and and they do the same thing on offense just come down there and do a little behind each other you know what i mean i'm like that shit is right who, who has fun doing it but some people do good gain of nine on first down 
Dude, I need to figure out how to do that. Here's second and a yard. On the handoff, Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. I don't know when I'm going to leave that back there. I keep saying I'm going to do that shit. I don't have much desire to play in it. But then most time I play in it just because I'm bored. Like, I don't really care about these games. Stopping him for a loss. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he will have a first down here at about the yeah, I know my league right there. Runs on this drive so far. I got my it's first and I care about getting money and AOS. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. And then if Fight Club comes back to like where it was, I feel about that again. Because that like that's actually a money league. I don't care about AOF as much as I care about like uh, Fight Club. I mean, get money sometimes. What's up, baby boy? Because of the angles of approach. You play with that one. What is that naughty, naughty gobbly doing? Okay, daddy. This is daddy's last game. I promise we don't play. Flushed out right, and that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Here comes the seventh play on this drive as this is third and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. Flush that he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes What's down. funny is I don't know if I can go for this. Goodness. And then Matt Ryan threw a horrible pass. Picked off Byron Jones. Oh, oh, oh. Matt Ryan just threw the worst pass in history. <laughs> like, how do you throw it that badly? So they go on fourth down. Not only did they not get it, it turns into six points the other way disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. Bad defense coordinator recently tell me we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules. And when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. Huh? Okay, okay, Chicky, Daddy gonna come play it, okay? So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. come to the line ready to start their next drive and following the pick six and they have decent field position and throwing that pick six we'll see how they attack this drive and i think all you say to your guy is listen just take i think i'm over here making reels while this man is working down and they'll probably help them a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws yeah no i'm trying to get it down to get settled back yeah, in but they told him they trying to get that confidence that, that's not a problem yeah not a problem at all they just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll get this up over the 25 and the 26. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator? Oh, I'm not sure that. Thank you. I'm about to say this man's easy to take the fourth down. I'm going to make this second down. On third down, Ryan. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. That's how, you, that's how you do it, man. That's how you know you don't play it all, man. You can't get mad about that shit. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. I get why you got mad earlier. Trying to watch the NFL game and trying to count for their passing But you know one thing? You can't beat Madden. You can't beat Madden, my nigga. He comes back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. First and ten, Taylor now. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. 
They go play action now. Ryan. And that's caught. Why is Matt Ryan? Cox. Matt Ryan is pointless then. If he can't make a throw, then what good is he? To me. Why is his mid accuracy 93 and he's missing so many passes? First and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. Oh, shit. It's his target to tight end. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know if it's yeah, this will leave him a yard know. short. Nice yeah. pickup of nine yards on first down. They'll get this out quickly to Campbell. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have, to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. I'm almost done, well. man. Feel free to mute me until right you, so I'm ready. Or oh, I can mute myself. Oh, ah, that play never works for me. And this is gonna result in I, I like that play. It's like a fake. It's like line. three fakes. Two there, second down. Trying to find one good one. You know what I'm gonna start doing now? And you can't take this idea, buddy. It start like doing reactions to my own videos as if like I wasn't playing it at that time. Not my own videos, but my own uh Madden videos. Let me say that. Touchdown Colts! Well not necessarily well not yeah, yeah, pretty much fake reactions. Yeah. Because those things get yeah. Cause those things get good views, man. Like, like the clips that I posted playing Madden, like, like the reels and stuff, are like some of my most views, bro. Damn it, that was a good one, and then I didn't show my broken chair. Well, everybody the is. at the line ready for their next drive. <laughs> Looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. Bridgewater's throw here into the hands of Jones, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Stop. Second and eight coming up. And of course, this nigga landed messes up on that video. Bridgewater, man open here is Jones. Landon, get down now, Jones. You in my ear, Jones. Get your ball. Then go in your room. Catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes to go get your tablet. It's upstairs in your bed. Go get it. It's upstairs in your bed. 
by Stephon Gilmore. Oh, you want that one? Colts are gonna take over at their own. And this ain't so tablet. Why you talking? For him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week it was interception Did it after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last <laughs> week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right? Because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right, it felt like a matter of time, and you gotta think the guys on defense. They couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now we give to Taylor. And the defense obviously expecting run as well as they're going to shut that one down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. This is as Mr. Big. How you doing, Mr. Big? What the hell is going on? Of the zone, they the need is going Let's on. See what they can do on now if you're not sleeping with the what the get doing with the I can't do just talking to you can be just creeping with the what you know about that Mel? So you know about that do you know the name of that? And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Oh, friend of mine. TJ Watt. She over there rapping about the like how her friend is Now the Colts are in the second she's of rapped, their she's singing to Mr. Mr. Big for most of the song. And then that half. part, he's like telling her to call R. Kelly so that, she, so that he could talk second to her. Second and 14. Nigga, Art, y'all just don't know. That nigga, Art Kelly, was that nigga back in the day, bro. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. They'll get a couple yards back, but not Can't more than that. They'll be uh, left with 12 Well, they was cool. They did a lot of songs now, back in the day, bro. Timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Okay. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, both teams likely That's to make exactly some changes what it is. in what's yeah. been a closely fought battle to this point. Yeah. That's what she's saying. Like, and she was my best friend. She stuck, she stuck with me to quick and fun. Because Arch Elliott was out there hoeing. <laughs> Like Mr. Biggs. Call him out. I don't want a baby. First Call down Miami baby. as they get set to start the drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to I change. I think the fact that I'm even sitting in this game is crazy. Because I'm not playing this game. No attention. Let's just go win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Bridgewater. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 35. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And this will be swung out here for counter. 
runs over him and just shedding him off there. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Connor. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. What just happened? There's Bridgewater. Polluting the pressure right. And he's got his tight end. This is uh, nothing standard. Touchdown, Dolphins. Mike Gesicki, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Sanders on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. To the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. start their next drive and this game was all square at halftime but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter and they need to take a good relaxing deep breath don't you think because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point but it's still too early to get there they can still run their offense plenty of time to get back in this game on second down it's taylor 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First and ten, it's Ryan. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past I the 50. So now first and ten as they crossed into Miami territory. Get all the 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 out the first time. Quick throw into the hands of Pittman. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No I don't know what it is about this damn corner that he loves so much. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Here's Ryan to throw. Oh, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Pass the 20. Five, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. 
Uh, what happened to your post and shit, now? You old inconsistent nigga. The Colts come to the it's hard to be consistent, to though. I get it, And last time, decent field position <laughs> through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press Keep the conversation a while you're there. This will be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, I'll because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have... And he works free. And down to the 20. A big play there for Indy. And yeah, yeah, you gotta find a way to do it though, run, bro. It's a great run with like this, contact, I don't know. Like I said, even if it is, nice like I said, I'm gonna start like doing stuff with gaming. From the red zone now, he's like, trying on first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. This will be stopped about two. Well, the thing about doing a gaming channel is like if you're gonna do that, you just gotta stay up to date on like. That's the tough part. It's like. It's tough, but it's not. Like, one thing that makes Corday successful with some of his stuff is, like, that he will, like, try to sound on top of hot topics. You know what I mean? So, like, when he does, so, like, when a new song drops, he's reacting to it right as it's dropping and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, that is, that's how you do it. But it's the same way with games. You can do the same thing, like, nigga. Hey, nigga, be one of the first to buy Madden. Start streaming that more. You know what I mean? Like, think of a good, unique streaming name. Like, Matt Ryan. Oh, ass, man. Frustrating the hell out of me. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Hmm. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Now it's Ryan. And this pass. Boy, yeah, Ryan sucks so badly, man. I'm playing with the worst quarterback in history. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Maybe. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. And yet again, Ryan is intercepted. Oh, man, this nigga intercepted the Hines. And the Dolphins are like, going to get the football right behind their own 40-yard line. Yeah. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. And they're going deep for Hill. And the end, he just mocked his him. And he'll be taken oh, down, but gosh, first he gets bro. deep into Indianapolis territory. That's just tough, man. It's a big play there for Miami. Back now in Miami. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. Second and goal from inside the five. Out of the gun, Bridgewater escaping the pressure right. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Mike Gesicki with his second yeah, touchdown of the game. Fourth of the year. And the Dolphins look like they're going to get back in the real column as they extend their lead here this fourth quarter. Sanders now to add the extra point. He's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Listen to this, can you quit? 
And Rodgers will hold on to this one and it'll come out to the 25. Nigga, just because he said that, nigga, I'm not about to, I'm not about to, uh, I'm not about to, I'm not about to cancel the game now. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And three interceptions in this game, I would have to think, I was in a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, I said, man, I, I said, nigga, I ain't going to quit now. You should have saved that shit for afterwards. <laughs> Offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. I told him he should have saved that shit, Tony. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the third. He's going to tell me I suck, man. I've been making reels this whole fucking thing, nigga. No, not at all. <laughs> they did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Colts on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and four. Ryan. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Here we go. It's Ryan on fourth down. Oh, he's got his tight end. Mo Alley Cox complete. And they get him down. I was going to quit for that nigga too, the boy. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit. I'm going to use all three of my timeouts and everything, you try man. not to give up bigger plays, <laughs> you don't react as fast hmm? as you should on other throws. On first I'm losing about 21. Taylor, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And he'll be taken down. But, but nigga, you literally heard what I was doing the entire game. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> yards rushing I was going to quit for him because I don't really want to play this one either. either. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense yeah, in this second I half. I should have been first and ten. Game. I don't give a fuck. And I don't get no views on FFL game. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Taylor. Let's try hitting you on our timeout here. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Ryan. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 38. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Keep in mind, he had the three interception game last week, so we requested to talk with him this week. He was all smiles. He's still all smile. Yeah, we didn't jinx him at all, did we? No. Because ordinarily that happens. Uh, things fall off, but not in this case. I think a lot of it goes back to his technique. His ability to see the quarterback throw the ball while understanding where the receiver is running his route allows him to make a lot of plays on the football, and he's taking it away at a really high rate. 
is starting to fall into the category of not fair. Because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary this time. Why? Got the great Why does Troop TikTok like too. allow like certain songs? I don't get TikTok, bro. Got the yard down to the 16. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. They get 7 out of that, so they're left with a 3rd and 3. Just 2 minutes remaining here in the 4th quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Play fake. Bridgewater. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. <laughs> it's second down. Well, they did throw interceptions on their now, last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as if they it did. Wasn't yeah, a decent little game puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. I wouldn't even care. And I wasn't going to even say that. I was going to say that. Second down. It's Taylor. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. 119 yards rushing for oh, I know what I'm the ball doing. game. And that's a nice pickup. I'm about to call it Spike. That second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan. <laughs> so signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. So that'll back them up five. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Yeah,
They'll try the left side. Return. That's what happens. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Who did the Cowboys there, lost no one? Gain, and now Oh, you talking about in our league. Yeah, I thought she was talking about in Western League. They run once more with Taylor. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Oh, me. <laughs> Nine yards on the carry there, but it'll be four Hey, down it's now. about to be one second. I'm about to call that out. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. Don't matter, Phil. No wild, man. One last shot for Ryan. He's gonna let it fly. And my goodness, I don't like that shit regardless, bro. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And they were booing Charles by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for Miami, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, they'll fall back to 500 at two and two. And they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Baltimore Ravens.